dancing like that, no, though. No, no, you were dancing. It was so, so weird. weird. <laughs> you were dancing like a fish. <laughs> Mom? But you know. Mom! Michael! Who the hell is this? Michael. Get him away from me! Stop, stop, stop it. She's not mom. She looks like mom. You're, you're obviously drunk. Let's go. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm so sorry. Please keep him on a leech. For Christ's sake. Mom, mom, it's just go mom, away! Michael, stop it! Oh, mom, I'm so sorry. You're drunk. Let's go. Did you see her? No, I saw her. She looks like mom, but she's not mom. Let's go. She's not? Welcome to my humble abode. Oh, thanks, Papi. Oh, who is that? Ah, okay. That's uh, that's my son, oh. Michael. This does not concern you. Hi, handsome. She's old enough to be your granddaughter. Laura, oh, okay. take him out of this place. Okay, um, Michael. Stay out of this. Dad, you know, gray hair does not guarantee sense, right? You don't talk to me that way. You have no respect. No single respect. Michael, she's dead, gone, and buried. I have my life. Leave. And whose fault is it? Whose fault is it that she is dead? I wish you died instead of her. Michael. Let's go. My... Let's go. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I'm not coming. Michael! This guy. Michael. Are you are you okay? No, no, no. Stay off. Stay off. Stay off. <laughs> Why did you do that, Michael? I hate that man. I hate him so much. Michael, that's your father for crying out loud. You embarrassed him. He does not deserve to be called a father or a husband. Michael, this is his house. I don't and care. And he can do whatever he wants. I don't care. That is why I want to leave this place and start all over. Courting yourself won't change anything. You know. You know that, right? It makes me so mad. So freaking mad. Who's just calling me? Hello? What is your problem? I have told you it's over. Can you stop calling me? What does she want now? She wants to come back. After cheating on me so many times. I hate her too! Oh, Michael, I, I know you hate everyone now. I understand. No. I don't hate you. Hmm. You're my favorite cousin. Hmm. That's so sweet. Oh well, that's because I'm your good books. No, it's because you're a good person. Oh, that's so sweet. But well, Michael, you need to take things easy. You're being too hard on yourself and everyone. And your dad, you can't hate him forever. I only come here to sleep to avoid his presence and nonsense like that. Michael, this is his house. You can't make the rules. But why can't he take his shenanigans elsewhere? It is so disrespectful to my mother. I just wish this agent would get something for me as soon as possible so I can leave this place. Something good is coming up soon. I'm pretty sure about that. Okay? Michelle. Yeah. Let me get something to eat. I don't want to eat anything. Oh, so what do I do to make you happy? Dance a willow for me. I should dance. I should dance. I should dance. This... You like it? Mm -hmm. I made just the way you love it. No, no, no. Um, just stay. I'll go. I'm not even hungry, okay? No. This is your house. You can stay. Good morning, Uncle. Good morning, my dear. My dear. Uh, 
I hope your night was well spent. Yes. And I hope you slept well. Yes. Hmm. It's been over a year. Yet my son still hates my cuts. Do you speak with him at all? Uncle, I try. But you won't blame him. My son has refused to take money from me. He has blocked me from sending money to his account. Yet he lives in my house, goes out and comes in, but talks rudely and disrespectfully to me, his father. Uncle. Everything has an expiring date. It's okay, Uncle. I'll talk to him. Please do. I will. Please do. I will. My patience is running thin. Good morning, Ma. And what is good about the morning? You cockroach. What is good about the morning? How many times have I told you that I want the mat closer to the bed because I don't like my feet touching the ground in the morning? Have I not said that? I'm sorry, ma. It's keeping my mind. I don't do any shaking. Please, get out. Hey, 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 hey. Come back here. You know, sometimes I wonder why I keep tolerating you. Oh, no, 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 no. I know, I know, I know. The only thing keeping me from strangling you is the fact that I know that I will still foot your funeral. I took you from the gutters, brought you here, and you cannot even give me a, a good service. Don't I pay you well? You do. Don't you eat? Don't you drink? I'm now, sorry. look at What is this? You're What's sure. the. Are you okay? Are you okay? No, Are they no, properly no, arranged? No, look at them very well. My God, what is wrong with you? Why are the bags not arranged? Look at the handle. It's supposed to be standing straight, not bent. Like this. Ah, you are mad. Are you asking me that question? Huh? Sorry, ma. Are you colorblind? I'd like to know, are you colorblind? Because from where I am sitting, I can tell that these shoes and their colors are not in alignment. Who raised you? Oh my God. What is a silver shoe doing beside a red shoe? I'd like to know that. I'd like to know that. Ah, I, 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 these bags, are they supposed to be there? No, ma. No, ma. Really? The bags are supposed to be in my main closet. What are they doing here? Ma, I will... Will you just shut up and... I, 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 just get out. Go and make breakfast or something. Sorry, ma. Ha! Oh, God. You know, sometimes I wonder why it is so difficult for you to adhere to simple instructions. Why? Are you deaf? Or are you dumb? 
No, ma. Did, did your mother exchange you for a pot of porridge when you were born? Because I don't understand your stupidity. I know I told you that I want the vase up there to be down here and this one here up. So but no! You want me to shout before you do anything right. My God! Get out! Oh, look at this. No, look at it very well. Is it properly set? No, look at it. Is it set in your eyes? Because I know I told you that I want the space between this chair and this table to be approximately two meters. And I gave you my reasons. I told you that I want this space to be large enough for me to walk through. I don't want to have to touch anything, not the chair, not the table, before I take my seat. Did I not say that? Yes, you said two semi-meters. It is two meters, Ima. Two meters, blockhead. Two meters. Ma, I, I, I use the tape where you give me do one this morning. If you will make a do one for your present, ma, go bring a call. Of course you will have to do it in my presence because I will never trust your measurement in my absence. I mean, how can I even trust a measurement you can't even mention? Two centimeters. Really? Two centimeters? Now do yourself a favor. Get out of my sight. Get that tape and measure this in front of me. Okay, ma. My God! I brought you here to help me. But every morning I lose my voice talking to you. Hmm. Please help me secure this job. Count it well, Lou. Count it well. I'm counting it. I'm counting it. Count it well. I'm counting it. You started. It's now. five. You started. Hey, is this five? It should be here. Wait, 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 oh, wait. Okay. Is it now? Why you like this? Why you like this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Okay. 
I'm not like you, you should know. <laughs> Six and two. Okay, um... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm confused. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Home. And six. Let's go. Let's go there. <laughs> Something is wrong. You know, I've not stopped thinking about the lady we saw that night. Hmm. She reminds me so much of my mother. For a minute, I thought I was dreaming. Oh, well, yeah. She looks like the younger version of your mom. But the resemblance, though, is crazy. It is, right? Yeah. But ah, the way you went to Hoga, you <laughs> safe. I was tipsy now. Uh, I wasn't thinking straight. <laughs> I just... I just hope to see her again. <laughs> see this one? She's way older than you, so... Do I look like I care? Have you not heard what they say about age? Hmm. I can see you're already smitten. No, no, no. I just really want to meet her again, that's all. Play, let's go. <clears throat> hey! My goodness. Hey! My goodness, give me. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh. Uh, uh. I don't understand. Are you stupid? Are you actually questioning me? I called you two times. Twice. And you did not speak. How dare you? No, I'm asking you. How dare you? Re you know what? I really do not have any time for any form of nonsense this evening. You are fired. Yes. Yes, I said it. You are fired. <sighs> um, this house is so empty. Just put on the music or something. Just go, go, go. In fact, come, 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 come. Just get a bottle of um, drink and two glasses fast. Ma, are you expecting anything? Just do what I asked you to do okay. and stop asking me foolish questions. Why are people so annoying these days? <laughs> My God. Pour one for yourself. The drink is for you. Sit. I said sit! Sit! I don't understand you. Are you deaf? Sit! What is wrong with you? Sit! I want to talk to somebody. Madame, we don't tell you. <sighs> I could have talked to a therapist, but a therapist is conscious and will remember everything. Everything I tell them. You know, it's so sad. It's so sad that I have a lot, a whole lot on my mind. But I don't have anybody to talk to. I am lonely. <laughs> there. I said it. I am lonely. 
and I am scared of men. You know, my last relationship nearly killed me. Even though I got out of it alive, I still have the scars till this day. This is silly. Mechanic called. What happened to the car? My car? I crushed it. That's what happened. Why do you always do this, Michael? Every time you get angry, something of mine suffers for it, gets ruined. Do you do this intentionally? Why would you think I would crush your car intentionally? You think I want to die? Well, you better grow up. You grow up, boy. Because right now, I'm getting sick and tired of this your brush and brush attitude. And you think I'm not tired of you? I am sick and tired of you too. You are rude. Rude and irresponsible, boy. But your mother spoiled you. That's it. Get my mother's name out of your mouth. At least I did not kill her. Stop it. You can slap me all you want, but it will not stop me from telling you the truth. I loved my mother when she was here. I cannot say the same thing about you. I loved my wife. And you are in no mood, no position to know anything about marriage anyway. So, keep your mouth shut. Anyway, uh, it's not as if uh, you even did anything to help your mother. Yes, you stressed her out. I know I was a difficult child. I was wayward and squandered your money but you punished me severally for it. That was the father I was proud of. The one that knows discipline and instills it. The one to whom I thought had high morals. You can never be that man. Ever. You're going to pay. You will pay for that car. And I don't care how you get the money. I don't want you to worry about that. Because I'm looking for a job and I'm going to leave this house. <laughs> I've been hearing that. You've been saying that. You've been singing that. You've been mouthing it all, all, day, all day, all the time. Yet you're still here. Blaming me for all your problems. You are my problem, father. You're my problem. Now listen, you are not going to touch any car in this compound again. Fine. Fine. 
touch any of your damn stupid cars. Sent for me. Hmm. Michael. I've been waiting for you to apologize after the stunt you pulled the other day. What am I apologizing for? For bashing my car. I already said it was not intentional. Michael, I didn't call you here to fight you. You know, I've been thinking that you should actually come and start working in the company so that you learn the ropes. That will never happen. Ever. So, you're willing to forgo your inheritance simply because you're angry with me. Dad, whatever you own is yours. Point of correction. Whatever I own is yours. Hit me as much as you will. It does not obliterate the fact that you're my only child. And whatever I own is yours. I would rather hawk in the streets than to inherit anything from you. Son, you're still living in my house. I can leave right now if you want me to leave. <sighs> no. That's not what I want. Are we done here? Can I go upstairs? <clears throat> that he just gets on my freaking nerves please that's my uncle I won't appreciate such talk please joke see Michael I suggest you let whatever anger you hold against him let it just go okay is it when he dies that you, you forgive him? You'll be able to forgive yourself if you lose this man. I miss your mom too, okay? But she's gone. But your dad is here. Forgive him now that he's still here. into my office like that. Who are you? I'm, I'm sorry, ma. I'm your new PA, ma. Uh, my new PA? Yes, ma. Oh, <coughs> no, no. No, 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 no. I only hire men for that role. And this time around, I told them that I wanted a man that would double as a driver. And that person is clearly not you.
why are you so sweaty and your shoes are so dusty? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, I was running because I was a bit late, ma. Oh, yes. You are late. You are unkempt and dirty, if I may add. Who hired you? The HR, ma. I was hired yesterday. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ma. Me? I'm, I'm sorry, ma. I have a little flu, ma. I'm sorry, ma. You have a little flu? Yes, ma. You sorry. decided to walk into my office to infect me? No, ma. No. Get out! Before I call the... You are fired. Ma? You are fired. Now, out! Ma? Out before I call the security. I'll be fine, ma. Ah! My God! How knows I only hire men as PAs? So imagine the incompetence going to hire a walking disease for me? No, 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 no. I need to talk to her about this slip up and fire her if I have to. God. I miss her so much. Ah, what ya? Just leave him there. Oh, leave him there. Uh, Today is my mother's one year memorial and you come back home drunk? What is this? Oh. Oh. Oh, my wife. My wife. I am sorry. I miss you. Oh, you, you, you miss your wife? You miss her yet you're drunk? You miss her yet you're drunk? Drunk? Ah. I don't know anybody called Mr. Drunk. You see? You see? He doesn't know his left from his right. Ah. Stop, him, stop. I Why know. Come, let's just help him, okay? Help I him know. for what? This is my right. She's dead and gone, and it's all your fault. Yes! The only day he's supposed to show respect for my mother, he comes back home drunk? What do you expect me to do? Cheer him up? Uh, Michael, stop. He may be going through a lot. This one? Uncle. He's going through nothing. You hear me? I hate you, father. I hate you for killing my mother! Stop! Michael. Michael, what? Michael! Just come, come help me get him inside, okay? I will not. He can lay there for as long as he can. Michael, he's clearly drunk and can barely function. I said I will not help him. Oh, fine. I'll go do it myself. Don't worry, bro. you get the job this time. I hope so. Fingers crossed. You know, I went to check out a new place with the agent yesterday and mm -hmm. I did not like it. It's always the same thing. What do you mean? <laughs> I know you too well. You would have gone if you wanted to, but you don't want to. Mm -hmm. And um, you wouldn't like to leave your dad all alone considering his health. I don't care about him. <laughs> Keep deceiving yourself. I saw the look in your eyes two nights ago when he came home drunk. Like I said, 
I don't care about him. Okay. Accept the pleas the agent got for you. It is not to my taste. I'm glad it's not to your taste. I have to go. You know, I'm not driving. Michael, why don't you apologize to Dad? He will let you drive his cars again. I will never do that. I have legs. Oh, good luck, bro. You're so difficult. Thank you. Mm, you're welcome. I'm buying me something. I'm looking for a job, for Christ's sake. You're, you're, you're forgetting your laptop. I don't need it. Bye. Truck well. Very difficult human. Good morning, ma'am. <laughs> Mom? Mom? But you know... Mom! Michael! Who the hell Mom. is this? Michael. Get him away from me! Stop, stop, stop it! She's not Mom. She looks like Mom. You're, you're obviously drunk. Let's go. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm so sorry. Please keep him on a leash. For Christ's sake. Mom, Mom is it? Just go Mom, away! Michael, stop it! Oh, Mom. I'm so sorry. You're drunk. Let's Mom. go. Did you see her? No, I saw her. She looks like Mom, but she's not Mom. Let's go. She's not? Stop staring at me like that, boy. Sit. With all due respect, ma'am, I am not a boy. It's either you sit or you get out. I am here for the interview. Of course I know why you are here. But don't speak until I ask you to. Okay? Hmm. What are you called? Michael. Don't you have a surname? Michael Atta. So Michael, do you have any work experience? Because I want a driver that can double as a personal assistant. Well, uh... uh hello, darling. <laughs> yes, I'm fine. <laughs> really? Oh, wow. Okay, not to worry. I'll call you back. Yes, I will. All right, bye. <laughs> now, back to your interview. This might as well be a joke. Excuse me? I'm sorry. Um, I'm a little tensed, that's all. Hmm. I am looking at your CV and it clearly states here that you do not have any work experience. Um, when it comes to driving, I'm actually a very good driver. And about being a PA, I will learn on the job. I need someone with experience because I will not condone any form of incompetence. I promise you I will bring everything I have to this job. Mm. Ma'am, I really need this job. The job of a driver, doubling as a personal assistant, entails a lot. I'm sure you know that. And your job description clearly states that you will assist me in everything and also be available anytime I need your services. I can assure you I will do this job with the utmost dedication and diligence. You know, I could not believe my eyes. It was the same lady we saw that night. The one that looks like my mom. Wow. What a coincidence. But she had this rude and condescending way of talking to people. Guy, I actually want to do this driver stroke PA job. It was the only job I could find. Besides, I didn't want to use those connections. You know you can use these connections, right? You just have to merit the job. No. I'd rather start from scratch. 
Miss Harris, I'm just excited I've been working with her. Feels like I've been working with my mom. She's not your mom. Get that into your head. She's I your know, boss. I know, but I'm just saying that. Look at Michael, her. just go and do the job you hired to do. What's that? I'll do it. Uh, what? Are you serious? I'll beat you. Ah! Ah! No, oh, that hurts. I'll beat you. Don't, don't try me. <laughs> don't enter. try me. Enter. Enter. <laughs> The job of my driver stroke PA also entails you carrying my bag, okay? And don't stand there moping at me. Sorry. I did not hire you for that. Move it! Open the car! Sorry, sorry. My God! Move! Be agile like the young guy that you're supposed to be. I told you, I would not condone any form of incompetence. So you better watch your back. Open it. For me? Sorry, Ma. Mama, a snake, you carry come back house. My God! You nearly gave me a fright. I, you... my friend, this is dark arts. Okay, dark arts. It is a form of arts. Ma, Who raised you? This one no resemble any dark arts. So this one resemble occultic things. Ah, please listen. I love it. It reflects my mood. Okay? Now pick it up. Go and hang it in my study room right now. Man, should take it. Uh, no, 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 no. Swallow it. Take it and hang it in my study room. Hey, hey, hey. Come back here. Take this mess out of here. Ma. You didn't clean this space. I'm sorry, Ma. I did not think it was part of my job description. <laughs> as my driver, doubling as my PA, you clean my space. You cook if I want you to. And you wash my feet if I want them washed. What? Are you in any way questioning me? No, um, of course not. I didn't think so either. Now, get to it. Okay, all right. Um. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I told you, I will not condone any form of incompetence. Hello. Don't 
Don't you knock? Huh? I'm sorry, I'll just go back and knock. Come back here. What do you want? Um, I hardly see you go out to eat, so I just bought something for you to eat. Did I ask you for food? Or do I look hungry to you? No, I just wanted to help. I don't need your help. Get out. This woman is so rude. If not for the fact that she looks like my mother, I would have given her a piece of my mind. Uh, I bought food for this lady, just to appease her so we can have a good working relationship. She threw me out of her office. What? Yes! I'm sorry, bro. You know, this driver, stroke PA job, that's how it is. You oh, just no. have to serve. She's too cold. She doesn't say anything to me, only when she needs me. But bro, that's how a corporate relationship should be. Ha. Huh. I wish I could find something else so I can leave that angry bird. <laughs> angry bird. <laughs> what is funny? Oh my God. Uh, uh, bro, that isn't doing too well. Yeah. I had to drive him to the hospital for checkup yesterday. You'll be fine. Well, he asked after you. I told him you went to work and he was happy. Not until I told him it was um, a driver stroke PA job. He wasn't happy to hear that. He wasn't? Mm. I know. <sighs> Let me um, freshen up. I'm tired. Okay. Is it so, food in the house? Yeah. Let me just get you something to eat, okay? Okay. All right. You think this is funny? Yeah. Wow. Acting in a boss, commanding people. Most impressive, Rita. What, what are you doing here? Would you think I'll stay in America forever? Nada. Just get out. Get out of my office right now. I need some money, Rita. You need m I, I don't have. You think I'm joking with you? You took from me, Rita, and I am going to take from you. What are you saying? What is this about? What I'm saying is I need you to transfer 10 million bucks to this account. I, 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 I don't oh, have... Don't even test my patience. Of course, you know what I'm capable of. I don't have that kind of money. I don't... You think I'm joking with you? Let me transfer and I'm oh, Okay, okay. I'll, I'll do it. Just leave. Do it right now. I'll, I'll transfer. Don't test my Just patience. leave. I'll, I'll bust your score now. I said I should do it. <sighs> And who the hell are you? What are you doing here? You better tell him to leave this place now. Please, just go. Go, it does not concern you. Please. Is there a problem? Just oh, yes. There's a problem, you punk. As you can see, it's between man and wife. I am not your wife. I stopped being that a long time ago. What, what did are you say? Doing? I said I would do it. I said I would do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. She doesn't want you here, so I suggest you just leave, okay? Oh. <laughs> Rita, I can see you've started keeping boy time. Wow. Really? 
You really think he can save you from me? Wait, ah! ah! please. I know where you stay. I'm gonna Get pay you a visit. Get out. And you pay for this his insubordination. Get out. Then I can promise you. You bitch. Um, ma'am, are, are you okay? Just get out! Get out! Go! Who was he? Did he, did, did he hurt you? You should have just left! It was not your business! I was you should have gone back out! I was only trying to help. I did not ask for your help, did I? Why do you like helping when your help is not needed? Just get out! I couldn't have left you with him. You, you look- Get out! Okay, okay. <sighs> Guy, I must tell you the truth. I do not support what you are doing. I do not support it at all. I do not. Hazan, what are you saying? That woman took everything from me. Can't you see that? She didn't. According to what you told me, you didn't even feel it when she left. It was the Yibo woman you got married to that ruined your life. Have you forgotten it? It's all her fault, Hazan. I mean, she's the architect of this whole thing. Yes. She's not. She's not. Was she there when you turned the Yibo woman into a punching bag? What were you even thinking? Beating a Yibo woman in our own country. I said it's all a fucking fault. Didn't you get that? Please, uh, I'm so sorry for being too hard on you, uh, Asa. You see, I will make Rita pay for everything. Oh, yes. I'll get everything back and move to SA. And I'll start enjoying my life over there. Oh, yes. Uh, now, can I ask you something? Don't you see that she's doing well? It's my money that's talking. <laughs> so because she's doing well, you want to destroy her life. You and I know that that woman worked hard for her money. Oh, she will have nothing if not for the divorce. That's really? the truth, yes. Really? Yes. But I have to give you a friendly advice. If you are going to take it, I don't care what your plan is, but you have to be very careful. You have to be extremely careful because you might end up getting yourself into more trouble. And you know what that means? Don't worry, Haza. I can take care of myself. I handle it. I, I, I've checked and there's no one there. I know what I saw. I am very sure it was Mr. Tobore outside my gate. So, um, drive me home. You're going to spend the night because I am very scared. I will pay you extra for it. You don't have to pay me. Just say please. Why should I say please before you do what I want? Why? Fine, please. It wasn't that hard, was it? It was. breakfast because I can't see any table that is set here. What is the problem? Where is it? Man, now you talk say if you never give me order, make I not do any breakfast. Are you stupid? No, 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 no. I think you are mad. I mean, do you know what time it is? Do you know the time and you've not set breakfast and you're saying nonsense? Anyway, 
I don't blame you. I give, I will eat out. But by the time I come back, I want to see a steamy, delicious plate of spaghetti bolognese on that table as my dinner. Ma, you say spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> Just get out. Get out! And you, hmm? do you have anything to say to me? Me? Yes, because I can see you staring. Do you have anything to say? No. I, oh, good. To the car. Okay. Now. Sorry. <laughs> she literally said, spaghetti, blow your knees. And I'm surprised my boss did not laugh. Oh, wait, 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 like spaghetti, blow your knees. Yes. No, 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 don't say that. It's crazy. <laughs> but at least she has someone stressing her out in her own house. And I was <laughs> glad to see it. Like, God. literally. God. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't believe you slept at her house, though. I had to. Why? Because my boss, she's always acting fearless and tough, but yesterday, I saw a side of her that I could never have imagined. She looked so scared. Scared? Mm -hmm. Of what? Her ex-husband. She's married? Apparently she was. But that <gasps> man though, it's, it, he looks like trouble. <laughs> Michael, you're making things up right now. No, I'm not. I actually saw it. I saw how he made her shrink in fear. I saw the terror in her eyes when she was asking me to, to stay over. And I'm sure it was because of him. Maybe he used to beat her or something. I just, I just don't understand why a man born of a woman will hit a woman. That thing drives me crazy. Like, I don't get it. Why would you hit a woman? But that's spaghetti blue on his. Oh, <laughs> blue your knees. Don't start. I'll be back. Let me get that stuff for you. Yeah? Okay, okay. I'm coming to blow your knees. No, don't blow my knees. <laughs> oh my god. Blow your knees. Uh... Hello, son. I I haven't seen you in a in a while. Good afternoon, Dad. Is Michael here yet? Okay. Tell him to come to my office as soon as he gets here. All right. No, 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 no. You can't. You just can't. I mean, he's way younger than you are, and... Men are trouble. Men are trouble. And why are you coming to work by this time? I'm sorry, um, the traffic was terrible this morning. Oh, please. That is not an excuse. What happens to waking up on time? I told you I will not condone incompetence. I'm not feeling too well. Besides, I'm only 15 minutes late. The fact that you talk while I am talking annoys the hell out of me. I'm sorry, ma'am. No one talks while I am talking. But ma'am... Shut it! Shut it! Listen, you will not speak 
while I am speaking. You will not do it and you will respect me whether you like it or not. Now get out of my office. Look, I respect everyone, especially women. But you're making it hard for me to keep my cool. And you are still talking. You know, you are so rude and arrogant. I always speak my mind. One more word. One more word from you and you are out of here for good. You know what? I'll make it easier for you. I quit. A resignation letter. Hey, my friend, come back here. Is this arrogance or what? I am talking to you. It is not arrogance. I am just tired of being disrespected, that's all. I am your boss. That is no excuse on how you treat people. You can be my boss and be nice, friendly and approachable. I bet you haven't heard any of those words before. Do you talk back? No, I want to understand because that is my major problem with you. Why do you talk back? Why do you derive pleasure in provoking me? Why don't you just allow me to have my moments? I am sorry, ma'am, but I can't do that. I won't. You know, I have been here for some time now and I have never seen you smile. And what has my smiling got to do with anything? Hmm? You are too pretty to carry so much anger and sadness. You do not know anything about me. I don't need to know you to see who you are. You are, you're scared to let people in. You love the perception they have about you. The big bad boss. It makes you feel strong, powerful, but I see through you. You think you're untouchable. You hire men so you can subdue them and make them feel inferior. I see what you're doing. Get out! Truth hurts, don't it? You are fired! And for real this time! Bye. What if she doesn't call you back? Well, I hope she does, because if she doesn't, you go follow me, go beg. <laughs> Who will follow you? You. You're unbelievable. Why did you quit in the first place? Pride, they say, go ahead before you fall. See, the thing is, she gets on my last nerves. Hmm. But I kind of miss her, though. See this one? You miss who? That woman is way older than you. Is it a crime to miss my boss? She talks rudely to you. She demeans you. Why on earth would you miss her? You know, there is something about her that I can place my finger on. Behind that mean face is a woman that wants to be loved and appreciated. Hmm. Oh, she... Shakespeare. Don't worry, you don't get it, so forget about it. I don't get what? You don't get it. Do you get it? I beg. Um, drop the bag, get a bottle of drink, and two glasses, okay? Okay. Hey. Why are you happy? What's that smile on your face? As in, you're all excited because you're going to drink? Hmm. I think I'm creating a monster out of you by giving you drink, honestly. No, 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 ma. It's just that I like to spend time with you. 
even though I know they remember any of our conversations. Mm. Okay, that's fine. Get the drink. Hmm? Okay. Be fast about it. Have a good day at work. Okay, thank you. You seem so excited to be getting back to that your mean boss. Well, I wouldn't put it like that. Woman rapper. <laughs> I have to go. All right, hey, hey, come back. What's that? No peck. Something. Really? Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. All right, take care. Bye. Bye. I'm here, ma'am. Are you aware that this is a work premises. Yes, I'm aware. Then you should know that it is very wrong for you to bring your girlfriend here and do all sorts with her. Girlfriend? Ma'am, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> oh, please, I'm... please, please, please. Don't even go there. Listen. You see all that lovey-dovey shit you were doing with that girl out there? I don't want to see it again. What do you have against love? Oh, now he questions me. Really? Are you asking me questions after what happened the last time? Oh, so you're going to sack me again because I asked a simple question? You have even grown more wings. <laughs> anyway, keep your relationship away from the office. Am I clear? She's my cousin and not my girlfriend. Oh. Oh, my God. What is wrong with me? Ah. Oh. We are going to be having a meeting with Green Peg Textile this morning. Hmm? Green Peg Textile? 
Yes. Any problem? Uh, no, 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 not, not at all. I sent you the file this morning. Everything you need to know about Green Peg Textile is in there. Okay? Okay. You can leave. I need you in my office right away. It's good to have you and your team here, sir. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Um, can we get on with the business of the day? Sure. Um, so just to add to what I have already presented in my proposal, our advertising agency can help push your business to the next level. And we can do that by market research, advertisements, and we can also do brand campaign. But I think the first thing we should do is create a brand presence for your business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Green Peg Industries, textile industries, is one of the biggest in the state. Do you want to convince me that brand presence is my problem? <laughs> Sir, I know that Green Peg is a very big company, but don't underestimate the power of advertisement. See, in today's world, advertisement is the best tool you can use if you want to aggressively bully people, if I can use that word, or coerce people into seeing only your brand of business. I mean, we can create beautiful TV adverts. It works like magic. Of course, we have this social media craze right now. We can utilize it. We can use the social media influencers, pay them to do the job. Now imagine walking on the street and you bump into three, four billboards with your brand on it, catchy captions. Tell me why people will not think of only your brand. That is what my agency wants to achieve with this proposal I sent to you. What's that? Uh, about, uh... <laughs> um, madam, I have this humongous, this huge figure, amount of money that you're billing me for advertisement, right? Sir, must I pay this kind of money? Is it not uh, asking for too much? Sir, these days, people advertise their businesses, trust me. And it is for a good reason. It will help your business. Well, I'm not just anybody. I am Green Peg. At least let her talk. Michael, keep quiet. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, he is not. So, this is where you've come to hide yourself. Picking up a PA job. Job of carrying handbag. And going from place to place and following a woman like a slave. You don't have to do this here, Dad. Dad? Oh, yes. His name is Michael Atta. My own Atta. Oh. That makes him my son. 
You know, when Laura told me you had found a job as a PA, I knew it would be good. And now that I have seen you, I know it's bad. It's bad, it's sad. Can you imagine? Look at him. The string on his neck. In fact, trying to string himself with a, a, a cap of your excellency and carrying a bag and following a woman from place to place. That's what you're doing. Come on, madam. I am out of this place immediately. <laughs> You should have told me. You would have just sat this one out. You and I know you wouldn't allow it. It's my fault. I didn't. I didn't. I mean, your son should have rang a bell, but he didn't. Would you have believed if I told you that your common driver doubling as a peer is the son of one of the richest textiles manufacturers in the state? Can you please not say it like that? <sighs> so what's going on between two of you? Why are you so hostile to each other? I think you should mind your business. Hey, come back here, Michael. I will not have you talk to me like that. Come back here! Is something wrong with you? Huh? Listen, madam, you must sack him now. I will do no such thing, sir. Sir, I think you should respect your son. Respect his decisions, no matter how terrible you think they are. Respect him. You know nothing about Mike. Absolutely nothing. You should concentrate on your life. I know that he's a very good man. And he works his ass off. Imagine the heir to Green Peg Empire working as a PA to the most difficult boss ever. You should be proud of him. You should be very proud of him. It's like I just came back to waste, waste my time with you. Good day. <sighs> you know, you should be ashamed of yourself for trying to bully that woman like that. That's your own problem. Listen, you should feel ashamed. You should be ashamed of yourself. If you reflect on what happened today, look at you. That I came in that, 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 that place and I, look, I felt peeved. I felt ashamed of my son. I felt like you were not my son. Can you imagine? Following a woman. Following a woman. Long, long. A PA. A PA. A driver. Following her like a dog. You can call me whatever you want. You can call me whatever you want. But I would rather work like a dog than to eat like a king in a home where there's no love or respect. I'm the same way. All I've done is to work my ass off. To be able to provide everything and anything you ever wanted in life. Now what did you do? You threw all of them out. You chucked everything out. 
and you condescended. You went low, <clears throat> low to follow a woman, to scurry around a woman. La -ho -la -ho. That's what? A pee. A driver. Ah! But uncle, you should be glad he's not doing the wrong things for money. Oh, I see. I see. I should worship God. I should thank God that my son is working as a PA, as a driver, following a woman. Come on. A driver. A driver. A PA. What is wrong with carrying a woman's bag? It shows respect. Any woman that is not my wife. If it is my wife, fine. Any other woman, no. What wife are you talking about? Hmm? What wife? The one you killed? Will you stop that? Don't ever say that again. Oh, I wish your mother was there today to behold her son, her son scurrying about, scurrying about, carrying handbag, following a woman. Oh, listen, listen. Your mother will be turning, turning in her grave listlessly restlessly because of you. P.A. Come and defend it. That was harsh. Michael. Shouldn't have slapped him. Michael. What's wrong with these, 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 these urchins? Don't they have any sense? I don't like it at all. I don't think it's appropriate for me to feel that way for a younger man. Eh? You see? But after seeing him shed less in my living room the other day, I realized how much, how much I miss a man's touch. And I still think it is not right for me to feel that way. It's not right. You know, I've always said to myself that I will never, ever feel that way for any man again. I will never allow a man have that kind of power over me. And I will never Allow any man deceive me into that thing called love again. Love? But after the ish with his dad, I just felt like hugging him. I felt like kissing his pain away. I felt like giving him my shoulder to cry on. What else is love? I think that is what I feel for him. Love. Each time he is around me, I, I feel a type of way. I can't get him off my mind. I can't stop thinking about him. 
But it is wrong. I mean, I am seven years older than him. I feel like I'm way too old for him. Yet my heart skips a bit <laughs> anytime he is around me. You know, I was never this strong. I used to be a very weak woman. I used to be a punching bag. Until one day, I decided that I've had enough. And that... Uh, do I do with her now? Mm. Yourself, else I will leave you here as usual. No, Let's go. Don't leave me. Hey, I would have just left her here, honestly. Let's go. I don't want to fall into the turning pit. Turning pit? Yes. Oh, sit. You know what? Sit, sit, <laughs> sit. Don't worry. You can sleep. When you're out of the turning pit, you can go to your room, okay? Madam Rita, you're leaving me. Oh, yes, 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 I am. Without any apologies. Uh. Ah! Good night. <sighs> Tobore! Yes. Tobore! Yes. What are you doing here? How did you get into my house? What are you doing here? I always have my ways, Rita. I was told you filed a restraining order against me. In this Nigeria? You think this is the United States? Just get away. Get out of here, or else I'll call the police. Wow. Get away from here, or else I'll call the police. Ima! Ima! Just go! You call the police? What are you doing here? You no! Call the police? No! Please. No! Are you damn no, no, it! No, 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 no. You call the police? No! No! You damn it! No! You please, think this is what I said? No! 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 Get no, away! No, 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 please! No, no, no. Get away! You! <laughs> now you get out of here now so you don't get hot. No! Don't! Don't leave me alone! Please leave me! Don't go! Get away or I'll go cut you to pieces! You won't dare! Leave! Get out! Get out! 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 It's all right. I'll be back. Get out! Go and lock the door! Lock the entrance door! I'm very sure you left it open! That is how the fool got in here! You are an idiot! A village goat! That is what you are! Oh, God! God! Ah! 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 
Good morning. What the hell happened to your face? Nothing. Tell me. What happened? I said nothing. Nothing happened. I swear to you, I will not leave this place until you tell me what happened to your face. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you to utter such? Try me. Just try me. Come any closer. But I want to be close to you. I want that more than anything. You can't feel that way for me, Michael. You are my employee. Okay then. Tell me. What happened to your face? Please talk to me. If you're not going to talk to me, then I'll leave. Um, no. Please stay. Good morning, sir. Good morning. If I tell me, make I help you do one. No, it's, it's okay. I made it for her. Oh. Sir. Michael. The name is Michael. Sir, madam. What is it? Madam, help. Madam. Help? Is something wrong? <laughs> something happened the day before yesterday. What happened? Ah, maybe me go talk that one. No? And madam go talk him. Um, I know if you talk. What makes you think she'll need my help? Oh, guy, no. Mother needs her. She knows they even greet tell anybody. I don't say she needs help. I beg, help me. Help madam. Okay, okay. Come in. What are you doing here? You asked me to sleep over last night. Remember? Uh, oh. Uh, 
But that was last night. You need to leave. No. I won't let you push me away. But I don't want you here. Your eyes tells me otherwise. <sighs> no. <sighs> Listen, this will not work. It will. If you give me a chance. Do you need me to spell it out? I am way older than you. Besides, I don't see myself being with a man now. Uh, that relationship road has been too rocky. What is our age difference? Three, four, five, six? Who cares? I do. I don't. I will love you like you deserve. Do not punish me because of your past experience. If you let me, I will make sure you never remember your past experience. Since the day I set my eyes on you, I never stopped thinking about you. More of the fact that you look just like my mom. I look just like your mom. I've heard that before. Yes. The night outside the nightclub. That was you? Yeah. Are you stalking me? No, I'm, I'm, I'm not stalking you. Far from that. Look, this is pure coincidence, okay? But I was praying for it to happen again. Wow. But like I said, we can't. It will not work. Honestly, we can't do this. Rita, nobody is stopping us but us. This is true love staring at your face and you want to throw it away because of age? I want to be with you. I want to wake up next to you. I want to make sweet love to you. Uh, Just. No, 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 we, we can't. Please. Just stop. It will not work. Don't do this. Just go. Please, go. Just go. Tabora dealt with me. He made my life so miserable. He frustrated me to the point that I actually contemplated suicide. That was when I decided that enough is enough. That was when I decided that no man will ever see my weakness again. I would never be weak around any man. And I will never give any man that kind of power over me again. I decided to be strong. I know say they fight make you forget them. Wait. Oh, I, I, I thought you, you were drunk and, and, and you were sleeping. I, mean, I thought you were wasted. I know they're drunk, ma. 
I don't say you know if you talk your mind if I know act like say I day drunk. Now you make a day make a day easy for you. So you go feel poor at your heart. See, madam, I don't say you be a good person. But this man don't turn you into a bitter and a lonely person. I know be the kind person where you be. Madam. Wow. See, you no know, say love no they come twice. And I know say you love that brother where they come here. Please don't no make you no allow this chance to go. I won't make you give one chance. Allow and make you love you back. Cause I know say you love him. You see, anything we won't make her do for you, I go do one. Even if you won't make her the act like say they drunk, I go do one. So you go refuse the poor at your heart. They talk all those things we know. Uh, uh, that will not be necessary, okay? Um, thank you, thank you for making it easy for me to pour my heart out, okay? Thank you. Anytime, Madame Luca. Thank you. Fine now. Mm, yeah. The doctor said you had a minor heart attack. Uncle, heart attack. Hmm? <laughs> that means you haven't been taking your BP medications. Ah, that. I was overwhelmed completely with work. Uncle. Workload. Uncle, please stop. Stop. All the one I got along with. Work will not do itself. Huh? <laughs> Louise, I'm glad you're okay now. Mm. <clears throat> Thank God you're fine. Mm. Let me go make you something to eat. Hmm? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. You're welcome. So I'll be right back, okay? Thank you. All right. Mm. Thank you. <sighs> uh, Sam. Sam. Please, don't go. Sit here. Sit. Yeah. my son back. You expect me to forgive you because you're laying here sick. Mother was chasing after you and your mistress in her car when she died. You killed her because she could not keep your pants up. How on earth am I supposed to forgive that? You threw everything we had built in a night. One night of promiscuity. You ruined my life. You destroyed our home. Now, I want you to 
listen. Listen attentively for once. I have let you blame me for so many months close to one year. I have let you hate me for so many months close to one year. All oh, that is going to end today. Today. Do you hear me? I can't let you continue wallowing in ignorance. You need to know the truth. She cheated first. Your mother cheated first, repeatedly. Do you understand me? I see what you're doing. It is not going to work. Except you don't want it to work. Except you don't have any reasoning faculty in you. Go and ask Laura. Laura knows everything. She knows the whole truth. Yeah, the whole truth. Go and ask her. Except you don't want to ask. Except you are daft. I blamed him all these years. I had my parents talking about it. And when I asked my mom, she confirmed that your mom was, you know, <gasps> cheated. Jesus. Oh my God. Though she said she didn't blame your mom, because your dad was hardly around. She believed his absence pushed her to it. No. She could have chosen differently. I have, I have hated my father all this while because I thought he killed my mother. I thought my mother was innocent. Our mothers are always innocent in our eyes. No one can change that. Oh, I hate myself. I hate myself for how badly I have treated my father. Michael, just forgive your father. And when you do, you'll feel a whole lot of weight lifted off your shoulder. <sighs> it's okay, it's okay. You'll be fine. Come on, don't do this, don't do this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the way I've treated you and all the things I've said to you. Please forgive me. today. 
But I didn't. I didn't. I led her to her death. No, Dad. Don't say that. You're starting to blame yourself. <sighs> Mom could have just came home and talked about it. But she decided to chase you around. It's my fault, son. All my fault. I have not forgiven myself. I have not. But I forgive you. And I forgive mother too. But dad, you need to forgive yourself. I'm so sorry. And, and I love you so much. So? My everything all right. What is that? Are you interrogating me? No, I'm not interrogating you. Are you pitying me? I'm not pitying you, Ma. I'm not pitying you. <laughs> it's just that you know they grit up your food. And for three days now, you never even go off. It's just they wake up, lie down for bed. I'm not saying they miss her more. I know say you the miss, but you no go greet tell yourself the truth. I beg, just carry your phone, call him. You no say you go wrong, come meet you for a year. I beg, ma, please. I no like to they see you like this. Get my breakfast ready. Ma, you know. You are so, so beautiful. You know, I should have just filed for a divorce and walked out. But I didn't wanted to punish her. So, so bad a decision. And it cost your life. It also cost you, your mother. You made me blame you all these years because you never forgave yourself. But it is time you forgive yourself. He's right, uncle. You both made a terrible mistake. And the damage has been done. You just have to forgive yourself and forgive Aunt Angel. It will help you get a lot of things off your chest. <sighs> Once again, I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry for everything I said to you. Yeah. It's all right, son. It's all right. I forgive you. Oh. 
Oh. I forgive you too, Angel. Emma! Emma! Emma, what was that? What, 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 what was that? I mean, what was that noise? Ma, now that man with the help us wash car. He come in, come collect, he wash the car for us. <sighs> okay. You know where the key is, so take it and give it to him. Okay, ma. And then always be careful. Be careful. Uh, peep through the keyhole before you open the gate for anybody. You have to be security conscious, okay? Okay, ma. Just go out. Get out. Go. What are you doing? And why are you putting on your work clothes? Haven't you sent in your resignation letter? That would be like saying goodbye. I want to go to the office dressed like this to see her reaction. Wait, you guys haven't spoken since that day. I don't think she wants to talk to me. Help me with the time, please. Okay. Thank you. So, Hello? I know I have. I have been so. so mean to you. But the truth is. the truth is that I miss you. I miss you so much. I think about you. every day. I am scared. I am scared that it's going to happen again. Where are you? I am at the office. And I am feeling so sleepy. I think I've had too much to drink. Just wait for me. I'll be there. Okay. That was her. So? I'm going to see her. Uh, okay. <sighs> Take care, okay? Alright. Just keep this. Um, okay. <sighs> Please just go. And look at yourself. Oh. Your life is so boring and sad. You even drink yourself to stupor in your own office. Please just go. Rita, see, just like old times sake, your mind for the taking now. Don't touch me, please. Just don't touch me. Ah, no, no. Ah. Please. Ah. Ah. Okay. Okay, no. Get out! You got pepper this! 
Let me help you to the shower. No. I... I... I don't... I don't want you to see me. But you need to shower. did this to you? I think it's time you reported him to the police. No. No. I am scared. I am scared of what he will do if he finds out. He will never hurt you again. That I promise. You need to shower. Come. Tobora dealt with me. He gave me nothing but heartache and pain. He will beat me at the slightest provocation. I was just an orphan. I didn't have anybody Nobody to turn to or run to. So I stayed with him. When we relocated to the US, he continued. He will increase the volume of the radio the hell out of me. One day we went for, we went to a party and there was this guy that was admiring me. He made it so obvious that he liked me. 
But I didn't even need him on. I didn't even notice him. When we got back, he increased the volume of the music that was playing and he hit me with a horse whip. He said it was my fault that I seduced the innocent guy with the way I dressed. That was how I, I got this car. I'm sorry. After that, I couldn't take it anymore. So first, I, I reported him to the police. Then I filed for divorce and got half of everything he owned. He was mad. He was so angry. He told me he was going to kill me. So I left and relocated back here, thinking he would never find me, but somehow he did. You don't have to worry about him anymore. I will handle him. He has met his match. I should be the one protecting you, not the other way around. I mean, I am quite older than you. We can protect defend and respect each other. Age shouldn't be the case here. Remember the day you taunted me about hiring men just to humiliate them? Huh? You were right. I... I hire good-looking, able-bodied hunks and turn them into drivers and my PA just to humiliate them. Just to take back my power. My power Tabor took from me. I mean, he, he, he turned me into something else. He, he killed something in me. So, when I hire these men, I hurt them just the way he hurts me. I look down on them. I talk down on them and I treat them just the way I like. You saw him in us. Yes. That is the only way I can feel better about the years of torture I endured. I'm sorry you had to go through all of this. So you see this mean angry, sad boss that you see here. That is not me. I used to be a very lively and happy woman until I let the devil into my heart. That is why I am so scared to love again. Let me love you. I will cut off my hands. 
before I lay them on you. It would be like hitting my own mother. Let me teach you to love again. You know, you are brave, intelligent, strong, beautiful, and tough woman. To go through all of this and still come out strong, a superpower. Not every woman can come out of this. It is your strength. I admire most. Hey, baby. Hey, darling. How was work? Mm. I just can't get used to being doted on like this. You're amazing, you know that. And you are incredible. <laughs> you know what? I just discovered one of the most amazing hangouts in town, and I am taking you there. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Son, is everything all right? Son. Are you okay? Did you say something? Yes, I did. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, talk to me. Something is wrong. I need your help, Dad. Mm. Shoot. The woman I love is in danger. Hazan, you won't believe what I saw. I saw her kissing that bastard happily, whilst my life is in a total mess. No, I won't let that happen. I will make Rita pay for everything she has done to me. What exactly is she paying for? Because you are scaring me with this, your attitude towards her. Have you forgotten? It was the white woman that messed you up and not Rita. So if you are looking for who to get your revenge on, it should be her and not Rita, not innocent Rita. No, 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 Hassan, no, you're getting it all wrong. No, no, I mean, Rita has the audacity to fall in love while my life is in a total mess. After ruining my life, no, I will make sure I take her happiness and joy away. Yes, she cannot be happy. I won't allow that to happen, Hassan. So, what do you want to do? <laughs> huh? 
hasn't. What I should have done long time ago. <laughs> What's that? Why are you smiling like that? No, I never see you happy like this before. <laughs> no. I'm very sure you're exaggerating. Jesus! Shut up! Jesus! Jesus! Rita, you think you can move on just like that after ruining my life? Nada. Why do you keep saying that? You ruined your life yourself! Why are you always accusing you me? Shut up now! Listen to me! I want you to transfer 50 million into this account. Oh, now. Not again. I told you. I don't have that kind of money. I don't. Now listen to me, Rita. Let's get things straight. Today is not going to be like the other day. Transfer 50 million into this account now. I'll bust, bust your skull. I will not. I don't have it. Now give me your phone. I said, give me your phone now! Now give me your phone password and your mobile app pin now! No! I will not do that! I said, you should give me now! Okay, okay, okay! My password is. One. Yes. Zero. Freeze! Six. Stop your weapon! Oh. Stop your gun! What? Oh, please! Oh, Thank you. Uh, easy, please! Take him away. Please, please, oh. officer, I'm sorry, please. Officer, please. Move it. Get up, go. Dead man. Please, Rita, please, don't let them take Let's me go. away. Please, please take him away. Go. You will rot in jail. Please, Rita, you know I used to love you. Please. Go. Officer, I'm in. Please. Rita, please, help me. Please. Don't let them take me away. Please. Please. Oh, thank please. you. Thank God you came right on time. It's okay. Oh. I will never bother you. you know? I reported him to the police and they've been keeping tabs on him. Oh. <sighs> it's okay. We have my father to thank for this. Your father? Mm -hmm. He came through for us. Oh. <laughs> wow. It's okay. Thank you. Let's go, you need to freshen up. Okay. Are you okay? Yes. <sighs> I'm older than you by seven years. Does your father know that? I mean, what would he think? And there she goes again with the age difference. My heart beats for only you. And if I have chosen you, every member of my family follows suit. I am worried. I should be worried. What, what, what if? of the what ifs. Look. You think I haven't told my father about our age difference? You have? Yes. And he doesn't mind. As long as I love you. Seriously? Yeah. And he loves you already. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> are you for real? Or you're just lying to me? I'm saying nothing but the truth. And, um... I'm happy that bastard got what he deserves. I'll make sure he spends a long time in prison. Thank you. Thank you for everything you have done for me. I wonder what I would have done without you. You're a very strong woman. And I'm pretty sure you would have handled this one way or the other. Mm. I was very scared, you know. But you stood up to him, even with
with a gun in his hand. You are the bravest woman I have ever known. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> You're so sweet, you know. Am I? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I think I'm ready. You're ready to see the old man? Mm hmm. That's good. Let's go meet your father. Yeah. It's about time. <laughs> okay. Um... Shall we? Of course. So much like me. Like, like an older version. See? I told you. That's your mom? Uh huh. Oh, <laughs> wow. Mother, I want you to meet Rita, my girlfriend. <sighs> Someday, my wife. <laughs> wife. Yeah. Rita, I love you so much. And I hope someday you will do me the honors of being my wife. I love you too, babe. <laughs> you are the sweetest man on earth. Trust me. Now you're trying to make me blush. <laughs>